yeah, but they are, it's kind of limited to the, how much you can orient the Yeah, apps. yeah. Yeah, we can help you. Yeah. Call us in, we can I help you. I think you guys have to scheme for it. So, oh, that's have to right. To well, but it should be completely <laughs> a no-brainer if you invite it. Same session as my talk. Okay. And Do you have data? This the solid lines look different, but the like the trend between the two is still the same. I just, I, we should just maybe also try plotting it as a function of the laser duration. Laser duration or something. So is this amplitude of the half maximal response or Give us still kind of yeah. Um, but the combination of these three tell us the orientation of the head in real time. Sure. Yeah. No, no, if I just compare them, they don't seem so um, right. yeah. correlated. Yeah. Yeah. You think this yeah. this little component here is the equivalent to that component? No, no it's not. It doesn't look like it's set to require I think that's because the activation doesn't last that long, and they're not very good unless you do activation. So where is that neuron? This is, I think, an SNI neuron. Oh, so there are tons of fibers in there. So. Uh, yeah. We held off for a few more days just so we can get So we should have the last one in the Put this in here. Put it on dry ice. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, then that little branch ends. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing I would like to get. You can All right. to, um, capture those little branches. Okay. One branch ends and the other one continues. Yeah. Just to that? tag the last node to say, you know, it rejoins. But I don't want to worry about that at this point. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do seeds, the rest of the seeds, if you're okay. done with the. But that's great. But the way that we can get around this is by looking at the data. A standalone piece of software that can look at frames on disk and do this translation thing and some, I don't know, it might, and if it's only a single frame, it might be comparable actually. I guessed that 2100 would be about right. I said it looks about the same and I was off by 30 pixels. You can use those little marks at the edge of the large view screen to see if you've got it well centered. Stuck upside down. And I want to acquire single frame images and see if Eric can stitch them with off the shelf tools. This one will actually watch one of okay. them and will watch them move. And, and with the puff, do you see them shift mm -hmm. it to the side? Yeah. Generally? Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. That's great. That's really cool. This is the one I'm going to be ah, running okay, next. Great. So I'm running, she wants yeah, yeah, me to run three puffs and three controls for excellent. each plate. Yeah. Every time the sound comes on, they retract their head and head cast. Yeah, this one reacts strongly. And you see, you can see how every oh, yeah. time it's nice and big. They're good today. Yeah, they're the perfect size. But we have three experiments going on at the same time now. 
These lines are not lovely now, much thinner. Maybe yeah, more. maybe it needs to be just louder. Mm -hmm. We need to run heat detection uh, so pipeline first to produce yeah. all data. Yeah, great. May or may not be. We need to look because uh, there was some bug. So I, ah. need to may, I may need to oh, rewrite. Oh, it's not there yet. Ah, hello. Mm -hmm. so, uh, huh? It's like getting rid of the answer to answer it. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. what I 